Hi, it's Ginger from My Sister Scrapper. I have another project I want to share with you today. This is a project that I created using the really super adorable Simple Stories O oh Baby 12 by 12 collection kit. This collection is darling. I love the imagery. I love the colors. It's just darling and it's great for either boy or girl. The cool thing about this collection is they created the general collection kit that has all of the papers, the 12 sheets of double-sided cardstock, your 3x4 cut aparts and 4x4s and 4x6s, and then a sticker sheet. Then they also created two smaller sets that you can add to it. One is um, Oh Baby Expecting, so if you want to make a pregnancy journal, like you could add that to this collection, as well as um, the Oh Baby Adoption small kit. So you could add that to it as well. So anyway, I just used the plain collection right here and I created a mini album. Now this mini album is big for me. I usually don't make mini albums this big, but it's for a baby and you want to document those gorgeous little cute little photos of the cute baby. So I did go ahead and stretch myself and make it larger than I normally would. <laughs> the mini album does measure eight and a half by eight and a half. The spine is two and a half inches. So on the front cover, I used the um, cute little paper here with the stars on it and the wood grain. I just uh, the colors are darling. I die cut a doily here using a bow bunny heart doily die, and it looks like this. It's the bow bunny ornate heart die. That's what I used for this cute little die here. And then these are some stickers and a four x four cutout. I did use some solid coordinating card stocks that I had in my stash. I think they're from Basil. I think this one's called Lemonade. Um, this yellow right here. These are some stickers that I put on some pop dots and just added that there. Cute little bunny and a butterfly. I did not do any inking, which was really hard for me, but it was a baby book, so I did kind of try to leave it plain. On the spine, I have some of this cute plaid and that little strip of the border strip right here. I did add some pretty little crinkle ribbon here from May Arts, and then I did add some charms. Now, I'm not a charm person, but I had this pack of charms that I got from Butterbee Scraps because they are my favorite place. And um, there was a little set of baby charms and then I had a few extras that I just added to it. And this is just a piece of chain I had in my stash. I attached it with one of the Tim Holtz jump ring fasteners and a lobster clasp. So there's a cute little baby cup here and a little stork and a baby bottle. I added a little heart, a little onesie, cute little love word right here. <laughs> and the little baby feet, and a little pacifier, and this cute little um, bib that says spit happens. I thought that was pretty funny. And that's the cute little charm. And then here is the back I used, the gorgeous plaid. I tried to keep it gender neutral, and it says welcome little one on this little sticker here. But again, you can personalize it to whatever you want. And I do, did use a few other dies, and I'll show you those when we get to that part. And I'll show you the dies that I used. So on the inside front cover, <clears throat> instead of magnets, because I know a lot of people have a hard time finding magnets, I used the Tim Holtz die that is called Tiny Tabs and Tags. And what I did is I used this little thing right here. So I took a scrap of chipboard, because this is a big die, so it will cut chipboard out. And I use medium white chipboard that I use all the time. Covered it with some white cardstock, and then I just die cut a bunch of these little tags out that I was going to use for photo turns instead of using magnets. And then I used some little brads to hold them. So that's what I did. Instead of magnets, so there are no magnets in here, I just used these little photo turns. Okay, so that's the die that I used for that. And that die has been around for a long time, and it is still available. So I just layered up some of the stickers here. And then um, this cute little pocket die is another one of Tim Holtz's dies. It's a little thinlet. And it's got this cute little um, slotted little tag. And I just glued it down on the three sides so I could slide some little tags in here. And then I also used with this collection, I used a collection kit as well as the ephemera die cuts, or they call them bits and pieces or whatever. But let's, let's face it, they're die cuts. <laughs> cute little onesie on a hanger. And then I made a little tiny tag here and put a little sticker on it as well. This was part of the ephemera pack and I add a little ribbon here. Again, another sticker that I put on a tag. And then just a plain little photo mat right here. Super cute. So those are all gonna go back in this cute little slotted thing. 
and you can add a bunch more stuff to it. It does come with the, there's two pieces in the die set. You get this little slotted section here, and then you get this little label to put on top. So over here, this is where I did one of the little uh, tabs. I added a little glitter brad. I had a bunch of little glitter brads, and they're from Doodlebug in my stash, and I tried to pick up the colors that would match this collection. So it turns like this, and then this is one of the three by four cards. I just double layered it up here, and this is gonna flip out, and you can put a photo right here as well, or right here, or birth information or something. So that's the inside front cover. All the pages are created the same. I do have five pages, and they're quite large. <laughs> So what I did on the front is I've got a flap here, a sticker here, and then again I just layered up one of the 3x4 cards, added some more little ephemera and some stickers. This is going to turn and this is going to lift up like this. So again I have two more stickers here, the cute little giraffes, is adorable. These are going to flip out. And then I have a little photo mat here and I did leave this open. Uh, no, I didn't. I stuck that one down, but you could put a photo right here as well. And then there's some little word stickers that came off that sticker sheet. There's two little pockets here. I did use a Fisker's border punch. And then I made some cute little tags. And all of the little flaps on all the pages are going to have little tags that are just like this. And this is a die set right here. This is the base of the die. This is a layering one that has the stitching on it. And this is from um, My Creative Time. That's one of her dies right there. And then they're each going to have a 3 by 4 photo mat. And they're going to be plain on the back for your photos. Okay, so those are going to go back in there along with the tags. And again, this little trim here is some crinkle ribbon from May Arts. And I thought the color matched pretty well. So that's going to go like that. And then the bottom of the page is also a pocket. So again, I have a sticker here. I made a cute little photo map with the 4x6 cut aparts. These were two stickers. I just backed them back to back. And I used some pink cardstock in my stash. And there's another 4 by 6 card. This is your story and so many reasons why I love you. How adorable. Love the butterfly paper. So you can put some more photos in here as well, as well because the beauty about the photo turns is you don't have to worry about um, the, you know too much stuff in there. So the magnets being too bulky and then popping open. So I thought that was kind of a clever way since it's kind of hard sometimes to find magnets. So each one of these are just a simple pocket page and you're going to have a large photo mat here. And these are all going to be solid colors. These photo mats are going to measure eight by eight. Okay, and then I used a We Are Memory Keepers tab punch for the little file tabs from the back. And they're plain on the back as well. So you can write journal and you can put photos, two or three or five by seven or whatever you want on there. So that's going to go in there and then you're going to flip the page over and on the back I have a photo mat right here again I did leave this little bit open here so you could slide the photo there some more stickers here and then I created a cute little journal spot this little die and I don't have it with me right now turn is from mama elephant it's a little envelope die and it's super cute because you open it up and then the other die piece has these little dotted embossed journaling lines. So when you die cut it, it cuts the scallop and then the little lines for you to journal. So I thought that was pretty cute. And again, I didn't use any magnets. I just used some little stickers and or ephemera pieces and just glued them down a little bit. So you can just tuck the little envelope see, right in there like that to keep it closed. So over here we have the cute animal print. This is perfect. Again, another little turn here. It's going to flip open. Cute little teddy bear. Oh, baby. I put this. No, I didn't put the sticker on white. Just looks like I did. Ooh, imagine that. So you open it up. Again, two more little pockets. It says the tiny details. Forever my heart. And I used the green cardstock here for this. Some more ribbon. And two more cute little 3 by 4 photo mats. And you can put a photo here as well. I think I did leave this open. Yes, I did. <laughs> That's one of the ephemera pieces right there. This paper is darling. I mean, absolutely darling. One of the cutest baby papers out there, I think, right now that just got released. So the bottom of it has the cute little roller paper right here. Again, I've added some cut aparts here that I backed with cardstock. And again, I love a little ruler tape paper right there. So that's going to go back like that. And here is the yellow photo mat. I'm not going to pull those all out, but they are solid colors. And they're just got cardstock on one side. 
over here again that cute little envelope die this is one of the ephemera pieces and I put it on um, some pop dots or foam tape again another photo mat right here and again I just used one of the little ephemera stars and glued it down partially and then this is seriously this little die is so cute and again it's from Mama Elephant adorable over here, um, the cute little paper here with the little bunnies and the bears and the clothes was just adorable. I added a little elephant sticker right here. Again, my little photo turn. This is going to open up. It says Forever in My Heart. That's from the ephemera piece. These are going to open up. And again, Bundle of Joy and Love You Beyond Measure. And again, I have these two cute little tags. And two more little photo mats. Love this wood grain with the stars on it. So cute. And then this is one of the four by no, yes, four by four cards. And I just rounded the corners and backed it on some cardstock here. And that's as adorable because it is adorable. Over here, again, another pocket. I put two more of the four by six photo mats right here or cut up hearts right here and backed them on white cardstock. And again, this is the blue paper. So you flip it over again, that cute little envelope, and this time I cut it out of the cute butterfly paper. Another three by four photo mat right here. This is open as well, and the same with the little butterfly right here. So you can slide the photo right underneath there. And here's the little journal spot. And I hope I didn't glue that one down. Did I? Oops, hope not. Well, let's see. Ooh, I might have to work on that one. <laughs> Oopsie. That's what happens when your glue gets a little oozy. So over here, again, I've used this 3x4 card. I just put on some foam tape, some more cute little ephemera pieces right here and here. And here's the cute ruler paper. Another photo turn. Out of the cute little sheep and the little journal spot. You open it up. It says, so very, very loved and love you tons. Two more cute little tags. Two more cute little photo mats, some more stickers from the sticker sheet, and this is a 4x4 cut apart. It says, Love every inch of you. How adorable! And then again, I added some more of the cut aparts right here. The cute little elephant, so much love, and this one here with the cute little moon and the stars. And here is the little pink photo map for this one. Flip it over and again, um, some more little cardstock here that I made a three by four photo map. Another little sticker that says, so sweet. Some more stickers here and this is from the ephemera pay pack and I just added, I did add a lot of clear wink Estella. You'll see, it's hard to see on camera, but it is on there on all these cute little bows and the little flowers. Again, let's see if I glued this one down. <laughs> Come on, what a ding dong. Don't do that people. No, I didn't. Ooh, I thought I did. And so here's this cute little journal die. I love this little die. It's so adorable. Little envelope die. Over here it says the snuggle is real. Love that. Some cute little border paper here with the rick rack and the little stitches. Again, a little photo turn. Butterfly paper. Over here and here. And here I have the cute little cut aparts. In the pocket, this one says, oh baby. And then these flip open. I love these plain because the butterflies were just so adorable and I was kind of running out of paper, just saying. Over here, I have another cute little ephemera piece, two more little tags, and two more little photo mats. And this is, I'll like you always and love you forever and love you beyond measure. So adorable. Again, another four by four card here that I just mounted on some white card stuff. You could put a photo here if you wanted, but the photos could go on here as well, just so you can look at the pretty paper. And then over here, this is this pretty little taupe colored um, photo mat. So on the last page, oopsie, darn, need to be careful when you do that, people. Probably should move him down a little bit because it's getting hung up on my little thing. Um, another 3 by 4 photo mat, another sticker here, and I left the envelope top open on this because I wanted to use that cute little um, sheep. Again, there's a journal spot. And another piece of ephemera right here. 
And then on the back inside cover, I created a little fold out here. I used the plaid paper here. Again, I used a larger of the photo turns here and added some little stickers here to the top. So it opens like this. This is a four by four card that says the snuggle is real. You can put a photo here and then there's a cute little duck, the sheep. You can add a photo here, here, and the cute little elephant. And then this folds down, great photo here. So you can add four photos right there. So that closes back like that. And then that's the back of the book. And then I did have a couple of 3x4 cut aparts left and I created two simple little cards here. This one says hello baby. I tied some little ribbon here around. And then they're playing on the inside for you to write your little message. And this one as well, showered with love. So there you go everybody. That's my not so many mini album that I created using these simple stories. Oh baby collection. There you have it. Thanks for watching. Bye.